Hello everybody, it's Uber 4 here, and welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn. Uh, in the last one, it was basically just a pit stop. Uh, we just dropped some shit off and kind of... Yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, but in this one, we are here in Windhelm because we have been told that there is a friend of someone's... Uh... uh there's a friend of mine who told me that the general good seller had contacts about a certain rare artifact. The general goods sailor. Now, who would that be? Let's wait until the morning so that we're not wandering around in the dark streets of Windhelm. Pretty sure there's like some crazy murderer guy about. We definitely don't want that. General goods. Well, I mean, as far as I can tell, all the, the stores and shit are just kind of over here. What's up, guy? And now he's a smitty. Smitty. Smitty stuff. Not really. General goods here. Hold it there. Whoa. Keep your distance. Oh. Hi, well, what happened? Another girl killed. This is Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. That sucks. Served me a drink just a few nights ago. But I can't say I knew her. Bummer. Uh, how was, uh, has this happened before? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. That sucks. As being investigated? We stretch thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Well, I could help. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Fair enough. Just a few septums. Well, that's disturbing. Ah, uh, Calixto, hey. Always sad when someone has to die. That's kind of a fucked up way of saying that. Did you uh, see what happened here? Sorry. I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. When somebody has to die, what the fuck? The divine Creep. smile on those who show Susanna the Wicked has 12 gold. Charity. This is a shame. Did you see what happened here? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. Fair point. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Right, that's fair. Uh, and Silda. Get the feeling you didn't Another say anything. One. Terrible. See what happened here? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already like this when I got here. Hmm. I got my eye on you, creep. Who the hell says it that way? Dragons breathing fire in the sky. Vampires brazenly attacking people on the street. It's the end of the world, I tell you. Ah, oh, no, it's fine. So I spoke uh, to the people who were here. Just like always. Nobody saw anything useful. I asked These bastards escaped charity. again. Well, I mean, there might be more if you'll let me look around. Look, friend. If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. I think I said to you were so. though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. That's fair. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Sounds great. All right, so we gotta go talk to your leaf as well. Uh, but I was gonna explore Riften. Uh, I was gonna go into the uh, Talos, the Temple of Talos, because I think I've only been in here like once, like ever. Ooh. All right. Good in the hood so far. He's like so radiant. Hmm. Do Hi. There's like, how do you get up there? Is this really it? This place is fucking tiny. You should probably be in bed. You're looking a bit under the weather. Hi. To receive the blessing of Talos, you have only to pray at the altar. 
Simple enough. Yeah, disease is cured. Boom. Get fucked. All right, Jorah. You know about Talos? He founded the Empire. So, uh, are the people of Windhelm devout to, uh, Talos? Like anyone, a crisis will push them towards devotion. I've been seeing a lot of the Shatter Shields since they lost their daughter. That's Televi Krulsi comes in a lot, but I haven't seen her husband here in years. Ulfric prays for strength. I speak to Captain Lonely Gale, but he doesn't spend much time here. Too busy. Sure. Well, okie dokie. Blessings of Talos be upon you. And upon you, madam. Oh my god. Bark, 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 bark. I know we're getting distracted from the general good sailor, but let's uh, let's run in here and talk to the steward real quick. I mean, we might as well. Into the palace of kings! <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> uh, won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Go be <laughs> God damn, that was really long. Okay, <clears throat> let's go up here. I might just make a little thing at the beginning of that whole conversation to skip it, in case people aren't interested in listening to the whole thing. I've never heard it personally, because, I don't know, it's just not who I was when I played these games. Hi. It doesn't appear to be much up here. I've never been up here, though. Yeah, excuse me. Jesus. Nope. I think if there is going to be anything, it would probably be in Ulfric's quarters. At least that's, uh, that's what I figure, anyway. Oh my god. There's no real proof that that's the case. Aha, uh -huh, these must this, these will be his quarters then. If there is anything, it'll be in here. Doesn't have any gauntlets, but the five songs of King Wolfharth. Fascinating. It seems to be a unique book. I've obviously never read it. Check what's in here. Oh, we'll just use our lovely tower to unlock it. Nothing but eight gold. What? 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 Eight gold? Ah, oh, it's just what? Songs with volume fifty-six. I uh, no, where's the saw? Oh. Alright, well, enough of that. Let's get the fuck out of here. I think it just goes. Oh, there's a kitchen. Thought maybe this went into the, uh. the dungeon, but that is up and over here, I think. Which, of course, means, what's this? What? We already went to the Palace of Kings upstairs. 
Is this another part of the Palace of Kings upstairs? Sinfar Iron Kettle. I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. Oh, see, well that answers that question. Here I was wondering who the hell you were. And now I know. No more questions necessary. Okay, so there's obviously something going on right here. Seems to just be some more rooms like usual. These appear to be more like staff slash other guard. Well, I think the guards are just patrolling, but these appear to be staff quarters if but if nothing else. All these rooms have questionable design choices. Like, why are the beds not like against a wall? To each their own, I guess. It's just, you know, weird. Oh, ho, thank you. Scroll of Blizzards, Scroll of Harmony. Creep Cluster. What the fuck is that? Why is that creepy skull here? Ooh, why? I feel like I feel like I should be able to take that. Yeesh. Oh, hello. I didn't see you sleeping there. That's that's all well and good. Huh. Uh, sir. Whatever you've heard, I can do is probably true. Well, that's fascinating. I strike deal are well and good, but magic is the true power in this world. Sure. Okay, well enough dibble dabble in the Palace of Kings. Let's head over to the general goods trader so that we may see exactly what artifact he is. <sighs> He has knowledge of. You're a war hero, Brunwolf. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. You've seen how we live. Cramped alleys, run-down buildings, few guard patrols. Even the name Grey Quarter is an insult. Hmm. I'll speak to Ulfric soon. But I make no promises that I can change his mind. That's all I ask. With your help, we have a chance to make a better life for ourselves here. For that, I thank you. Hey, who are you? One of those Skyrim for the Nords types? Uh, I'm not a Nord. I think all folks are welcome in Skyrim. And you're right. At least as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Don't let Ulfric or some of these other short-sighted Nords bother you. Most of us are happy to welcome newcomers. Good. That's good. Uh, so you're a war hero? I killed a lot of high elves in the Great War. And I didn't die. I guess that makes me a war hero. The Great War. There was nothing great about it. Thousands died on both sides. And where did it get us? Did we really save the Empire? Or did we just plant the seeds for Ulfric's uprising? And another war. Tough to say. Safe journey, sword brother. And you, sword, sir. There's a bar, or a corner club. This is the general goods salesman, I'm pretty sure. I guess we'll find out! <laughs> Let me know if you see anything you like. Sure, hi. All my goods are legitimate. Which is more than I can say for some. Damn, he looks angry. Who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. Nice. I do some business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Oh, really? So you don't have anything Look, to do yet. Well, I like to share my good fortune. Yeah, what do you have? Some kids, odds and ends, that's yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Anything unique? Maybe. Seems like everything is kind of a uh, painting, of course. Consuming power. 
Wolf Daito, that's cool. I mean, he doesn't seem to have anything too unique. Uh, until next time. Yeah, uh, I guess we can still look around. See if he has anything else sort of tucked away. I can have a look around. Like in strong boxes, maybe. Uh, come on, come on, motherfucker! Get, get the fuck! Come! Oh my God! Would you just? Okay. I Jesus mercy! No, it's just about anything. Not bad, but not not terrible either. Private letter number one and number two, huh? Well, this looks like right up my alley. Private letter number two and number one. There are more sitting around here. I'm always think. happy to see a customer, but I won't deal in stolen goods. That's trouble I don't need. Right? And who needs that kind of trouble? Ooh. Twenty-nine to ooh, volume five. Make yourself at home, please. Let me know if I can be of any assistance. Yeah, 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 for sure. I'm, uh, give me a second, sir. I just need to read these real quick. My dear Revan, let me begin this letter with my deepest apologies. I know I've failed to write you for years. Many letters that you wrote to me have remained unanswered. I can imagine the spite you must feel towards me for my disrespect. Please accept the apology for the way I have neglected our friendship. It's only now that I realize you might be the only friend I have left. The worst thing is that even now I write you... Even now I write you... More of desperation than friendship. For I have no idea who else I could tell this story to, but the story must be told, so in case I fail, not everything is lost. I'll be writing several letters in which this is the first. I hope you will not cast them away like I did with yours, nor that you will shoot the bird that I used to send them to you. In a way, you are my only hope. Let me begin at the beginning. All right, here we go, guys. Once the Orion... Orion... Orion family was a line of courageous people. There are countless heroes in my family's line, men and women who stood their ground even in the face of the most dreadful perils. Every single one was a warrior either because of their skills of arms or because of their unbendable will. They were the stuff of legends, at least as my father always used to tell me when I was young. He was undoubtedly trying to groom me for a life of danger, adventures, and spoils. If you can recall my father, you'll remember that he was always one for family honor. It wasn't easy growing up the son of the second in command of the Fighters Guild, especially one with a temper like his. He always used to tell stories of our ancestors, of how our line was nearly destroyed, but how the family survived because of its strength. I remember telling him about growing up in Morrowind and how tough his youth was. He told me of the dangers lurking in the Ashlands, the shrieking of the cliff racers, and the jaws of the Kagodi. My father was strict and already had me practicing the sword while, while I could barely walk. But my youth always sounded like a walk in the park compared to the stories he told. You see, my dear Revan, I am not at all like my father. I was born in Coral after the Oblivion Crisis. It was a good and peaceful time, and by now it seems like a whole different world. One that only exists in memories. I'm afraid I must end my letter here. Please feed the bird and give him some rest so it has the strength to make the part travel back to me. You will hear from me again soon. All right, so that's uh, number one. These are all going to be really long, huh? Let me just get through these. Uh, it's two weeks. Finishing your story. I'm alive. Don't know how much longer I'll be. Father loved and hated Morrowind. Uh... Red Year, and Coral, Reincarnation of Morrowind, embodiment uh, of its spirits, Left for Morrowind, uh, Father went to defend from the Argonian invasion, but they never saw him again. He gave him his helm. Greatest of my ancestors, all power and courage my family is stored within. Yada yada. 
My brother could never stand that the helm was passed to me, but what could he what could he know? He is three years younger than me. At the time that my father left, the helm was nothing but a toy to him, but now I, now I never saw that but how I never saw that greed growing in his soul oh, whatever. He how had I never known that he was looking for so dearly for the approval of his father, the father that left him too early, it is all too late. Now all this grief because of a hell, my father's pride wasn't worth it. Why does this happen to me? Okay. Apologize for the delay. Father's helm. Never liked Skyrim. Sword skills. Something about a gift. I don't know what madness has befallen him, or maybe it's not fallen him. It has grown and gnawed at him for years like cancer. I hope some of my desperation starts to become clear now. I'm sorry I've not been able to tell you the full story at once. Tracking and keeping up with my brother has proven to be an intensive tax task. I'm not sure if I can keep on doing this. So I guess his brother ran away with the helm, that's what I'm assuming anyway. This has been my last letter. The last few weeks I have tracked my brother. He went back into the mountains in an attempt to lose me. I don't know how I managed, but I kept his trail and managed to follow him. I had hoped that he would cross the mountains back into Cyrodiil, but instead he went east. About a week ago I found a dead troll, killed with multiple deep stab wounds to the head. My brother's work, I suspect though he... He would normally never have been able to go toe to claw with a frost troll. This horrifies me the most. Where will it end? A few days ago, I followed this trail to a Nordic ruin in the mountains. If the old map I took is correct, this ruin must be Arkwind Point. My brother went inside, but he has not come out. I've kept watch on the ruin from a safe distance for some days now, but nothing has happened. At night, though, I hear sounds, growls, and howls, the stirring of old bones, and something darker. My brother is not making these noises, I fear for the worst. I fear more now than I have in my life. I know my brother is dead, killed by the horrors within the ruin, but I cannot turn back. My brother, a fool as he is, deserves better than to rot in a tomb until the end of time. Also, my father's helm cannot remain there. He needs to be returned. As I write this, my hands tremble not because of the cold, but because I realize my impending doom. My brother is right. I am a disgrace to the Orion name. What have I ever done? I'm nothing. If anything, this is a test, maybe by the gods, maybe by Orin Bearclaw himself. A test to prove myself worthy of my name. To be honest, I have little faith in myself, but to abandon this cause would be worse than death. As I write this, I feel the eyes of my father on me, those eyes filled with hope. Maybe there is some... I have a decent sword arm. I left home with equipment from the Fighters Guild. As I stand to face my destiny, I feel a calmness wash over me. My hands no longer shake, but my hand grip my sword tighter than ever. I know my ancestors watch over me today. May this letter find you in good health, my friend. If it is my last, then I have met my end in Arkwin Point, and this writing is all that remains. I'll be with my family, with my father, and I will not have to be ashamed in their presence. All the best. Gilius Orin. All my goods are legitimate. So, Ark Wind Point, huh? Where's that? Mark Wind Point. I don't. I. It's to the east, right? Arc Wind Point, maybe? Arc. Uh. Arc Wind Point. Dark Wind, Dark Wind, Dark Wind. Uh, is it in the journal? to go and find the helm of Mr. Bearclaw. No. So let's actually just look up Arc Arc Wind. Arc Wind Point. Arc Wind Point. is right uh is right about shit no no remove it it's right about here ish so the alchemist shack we should just be able to go up and kind of around the mountain and that should uh get us there to Arkwind Point. Okay. 
Mm. I'll just go ahead and wait until morning. Alright. Jump on Rosemary here. And we'll head up the mountain. To Arkwind Point, which... I am going the completely wrong way. Oh! I'm sorry! So we need to go up this mountain. So it looks like... This section of mountain is kind of tapering off. So we're going to kind of want to go around from where it's tapering off and go kind of up from <laughs> well, we found an imperial camp so that's gotta count or something right nailing it yeah up the mountain we go there we go all right okay nailed it nothing's gonna stop us now come on rosemary yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright, and then this should be uh, Arkwind Point, right? Here. Oh, Jesus. There's a Durgan right there. Let's head down. Whew. Boopy. It's over here. Uh, this episode might be dragging on, but that's just because I was uh, listening to them talk for a while. Uh, so I'm actually going to end the episode off here, and the next one we'll explore Arquin Point. 724, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop side, alright? Alright. Bye!